I got me a Hasbro Marvel Legends series Grey Hulk and Dr. Bruce Banner. Let's crack it open. Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Grey Hulk and Dr. Bruce Banner. I had this on pre-order from Amazon, just rolled in today, and just got off work and decided, uh, hey, I'm going to share it with you guys. So let's have a look. Here on the front of the box, we can see the Grey Hulk and Dr. Bruce Banner here uh, with the comic art uh, on the front, uh, which would be the first appearance of Hulk. Uh, I believe, uh, James Wilkie, if you're watching this, uh, verify that for me. Marvel Legends series up here on the top uh, left-hand corner. Uh, ages four plus warning choking hazard. Uh, don't put Hulk in your mouth because you can't and don't put, uh, Dr. Bruce Banner in your mouth because you probably can. Marvel Avengers beyond earth's mightiest plastic free packaging Hasbro on the top here. We've got the Avengers logo, 60 years of earth's mightiest on the side. Uh, we've got more. It's a big box. So, uh, just take my word for it. There is some comic art there on the side. As well as on the other side, we've got some uh, digital rendering of the figures. And then on the back here, we see the two figures uh, with uh, the accessories, Marvel Legends series, Grey Hulk, Dr. Bruce Banner. Uh, down here, attention, blah, 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 jibbery, jibbery, legal jargon, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And Hasbro, Marvel, and then on the bottom, we've got more jibbery-jabbery legal jargon, multilingual plastic-free packaging, houses of Klingon, and barcode. And there we go. Let's get Trusty out and pew! And slice this open. Uh, oh, looks like we just got a little bit of tape right there. And I think that's it. Is that it? Uh, let's see here. Let's get that down in there without... I don't want to damage this package, so... I want to keep this box nice. Okay. That should... Well, actually, let's... Pop that. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. So, we'll flip-flop this open. And it doesn't have tape on the... Top and bottom there, so we can get this. Oh, look! Stupid piece of paper. All right, got a big old cardboard tray, cardboard something, and there's see, there's already something on the floor. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh, that's a head. That's a that's another Hulk head. I'll uh, get that out of the way. This would be oh, this is the big uh, the big steel girder thing or whatever. And then uh, pull this out. We've got Dr. Banner. And then we have the Hulk. Uh, really wasn't uh, all that interested in getting this, but um, as some of you that watch my stuff know, I'm just going to get this all this out of the way and drop it over there on the floor. Uh, but as uh, ma many of you know, um, I'm going to bring the camera down because we don't need the pedestal for this. Uh, I'm a sucker for suit bodies, and uh, this is, uh-oh, a suit body, but we're missing his glass. Hey, I found them. They were in a separate package taped to the box that I did not see. So, wow, it's actual glasses. Okay. All right, so uh, let's just dive in here and take a look. Uh, let's get the Hulk standing upright here, and we'll get Banner standing upright. We can get him poised here. Uh, we'll just lean him on the Hulk for now. Let's have a look at the accessories. First off, uh, we've got this uh, metal pipe that has been crushed. Uh, here, all in black plastic. Um, it is very hard black plastic. 
Uh, but yeah, just a black metal pipe all in. It's got a little bit of a metal sheen to it, but it's uh, crushed here on the one end. And there it goes on the floor. And it's slick. It's really, really slick. I don't know why. It's like oily or something. I don't know what's, what's going on with that. Yeah, that's really weird. But uh, yeah, crushed black pipe. We have that. And then we have a couple of hands. The Hulk has two sets of hands. We have a uh, sort of clawed, sp sort of half splayed out grip hands. And then we have two fist hands on him. Uh, we have the neutral face uh, on the Hulk here. Look, it's a really good sculpt, though. Um, it is a really good sculpt. Looks pretty good. Uh, the hair, um, nice dry brush on the hair giving it accents looks really good uh very good uh very good look to that head i actually like that quite a bit and then uh we have banner's glasses uh which are a separate piece which is actually really surprising uh we'll put those on him there we go and they actually fit quite nice. They fit right over the ears. Uh, it works really well. Very nice. Uh, so since we've got him out, let's take a look at the sculpt. Um, I'm a, as, you, as I was saying before, I'm a sucker for suit bodies. And uh, this is no exception. This is a dandy suit body. Um, I will say this. It looks like he's having a little trouble standing. But I, I didn't have that time off camera to adjust the legs and the the feet uh, to get them properly aligned, but uh, for the most part, we've got him right there uh, where he needs to be. He's wanting to lean backwards. But, um, so we've got, uh, we've got ourselves a lab coat suit body here. There we go. I uh, got a lab coat suit body. Basically, I, what I think this is, I think this is just a complete reuse of the Reed Richards uh, lab jacket um, that, that he came with that I actually have. I, didn't, I don't display mine with it. Uh, I display mine with his, his tights arms. But, uh, so yeah, we have that, uh, we have that jacket, uh, uh, but then underneath we have a, an orange shirt with a blue tie and then uh, blue pants with uh, brown shoes. Right down there, um, this is not a pinless uh, model, but um, still looks good. I, I like it. Uh, the face uh, face sculpt is pretty good. Um, you know, just a guy, just a just Bruce Banner, Doctor Bruce Banner. Um, got some white sleeves going on there that are attached to the orange shirt underneath. Uh, I've got a brown belt with a silver buckle paint apt on there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, just standard, just blue pants uh, reuse from uh, previous suit bodies, which I believe this is also. But it's just an orange shirt and, um, and the white jacket. And then, of course, we have the glasses, which actually have uh, clear plastic on, uh, for the lenses on there. And that, they actually look pretty good. Let's pop the glasses up so we can see his face. Uh, let's get his face right in there. Um, just very somber looking guy. Like, you know, he's just like, oh man, don't, don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Uh, and we'll just pop these back on. I like how well they fit on there. And that's, that's actually a nice little prop that I can use with other, other characters as well. They, they fit very, very well onto the head. I was actually surprised. I kind of, I just assumed that they were going to be, you know, glued on or something. Um, Going over articulation, we have a head with a... No, that is a static head with a ball hinge going into the head, giving us uh, all the way around. I still think I need to have like a neck cracking sound when I do that. Uh, pretty good down, uh, pretty good up. A uh, little bit of tilt, but not much uh, out of that. Um... Let me bring the camera up here just a tad. Give me a little bit more room here. Um, the arms, um, 
very very smooth joints on the arms uh out to up to right about there we've got a bicep swivel uh is there a no there's no butterfly hinge in there but you can get the arms all the way around uh, i've got a bicep hinge with or bicep swivel with a double elbow going in there uh wrist swivel all the way around with a hinge in and out and then we've got a on the other side same thing swivel with an in and out hinge uh got an ab uh a uh oh, knocking his glasses off got a uh, hinge there mid torso for some ab crunch actually quite a bit forward but not a lot of back because of that coat uh waist swivel super important to me uh legs all the way out Ugh, if i can get it now yeah, there we go legs all the way out to there right about to there not any further but we do have a thigh swivel and a double knee that will go back all the way back to that's oh, caught on the jacket all the way back to right about there on him and then we have detents on the feet with a forward rocker on the feet um all the joints are very very smooth no complaints no complaints um my biggest complaint with this body um and i I'm, i've meant to mention this before but the peg holes in the feet are very shallow um so you almost have to dremel out a little bit on those to get those to fit onto a stand uh but this doesn't look like it's going to have a whole lot of problems standing so I'm not too concerned with that. We'll sit him back here. And then we have, we have the Gray Hulk. And uh, with the Gray Hulk, he's got a... Uh, looking at the sculpt on him, he looks really good. Not a lot of... I, ex I kind of expected there to be more of a dry brush or a, a black wash on him, accenting this the musculature, but uh, they didn't really do that. Um looks pretty good i mean it's obviously he's he's busted out the shirt i would imagine there would be much less of that shirt left on his shoulders uh <laughs> than what this is but uh this is a separate piece very soft rubbery material uh on the shirt here we'll just uh sit that aside uh i just can't imagine that that neck is the same neck that he's got on that but uh you know it's comic book so whatever um the uh face sculpt on the the uh the default hulk we've got sort of the angry face or semi angry face uh but it's basically it's the same head just with a different expression um very very piercing eyes though uh and i like those i like the teeth they really did a good job on the teeth um lots of veiny veiny uh veininess in the in the musculature i really like it um i'm pretty sure this is mostly a reuse of the uh 40th anniversary hulk i'm pretty sure or 20th anniversary hulk 40th anniversary the the i don't know the the the, the newest one not the uh not the one that comes with wolverine the two-pack but the the one that came out like about a year and a half ago um i'm pretty sure this is a reuse of mostly a reuse of that uh, uh, obviously other than the uh other than the head but the hands uh and and pretty much from the neck down it's it's a reuse of that uh, a little bit of a soft rubbery material on the ends of the jeans here uh coming down but uh looks good looks really good um honestly I, I, to be completely honest with you i didn't buy it for this i bought it for him uh but uh i have this as well and i'm actually pretty pretty satisfied with it i like the look so let's take a look at the um articulation with him we're going to bring this up a little bit more uh we've got uh the head on a um we can pop that off yeah this is this is a reuse uh so we've got a dumbbell and a static neck going into the head uh right there giving us uh all the way around um some down not a whole lot of up uh on the arms we've got butterfly joints on the shoulders uh with a hinge at the shoulder going up to right about there uh bicep swivel um 
I'll need to hold on to him so I can turn that bicep swivel on the arm with a single elbow and a swivel uh, right there. Much different than Dr. Banner. Uh, and then we have a wrist a swivel all the way around with an in and out hinge oh, on the wrist. That one is not wanting to turn, though. That one's not wanting to uh, hinge correctly. That one's a little tight. Uh, and then the uh, same on the other side, wrist all the way around and uh, in and out on there. Uh, I've got a ball joint mid-torso for a little bit of hula hoop action. Uh, not a whole lot, but you do have some ab crunch forward and back. Uh, waist swivel, super important, super important. Uh, legs all the way out to there, much more than banner. Uh, and uh, no drop-down ball joint, but there is a thigh swivel and a double knee going back to right about there is about as far as you're going to get it and then we have the uh detents on the feet and a forward rocker um really really cool i like this set um i really do i like it a lot more than i thought i would um let's put his here, let's put his other hands on um let me I'll have to pull him back here behind the camera and we'll pop his other I like the splayed out hands the, the claw grip hands uh, so yeah um yeah I'm digging them I'm really digging them um so let's uh let's get them lined up with some other characters and see how they scale up all right, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Rock and Roll, the Mezco 112th Collective Superman Man of Steel Edition, and the Hasbro DC Universe Classics Collect and Connect Apache Chief. I don't get to bring him out too much on these uh, uh, scale-ups, so I'm taking advantage of it. Um, all in all, I really like them. Um, as a duo, duo uh, and a box set, I think it's I think it's well worth the money. Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it all uh, I'm gonna give it all an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten on these. Um, Banner by himself, I definitely give like a nine out of ten because I love the suit bodies. The suit bodies are just awesome. And they, they make it fun to pop the head off and put somebody else on there and have a crazy professor, you know, for a little skit or something. Uh, the Hulk looks great. Uh, I feel like uh, it really should have a... That's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 instead of a, you know, joint 9 out of 10. Hulk by himself, I'm giving... I'd, I'd probably give a 6 out of 10. Um, it, it could be a little bit better articulated because uh, it would be really, really nice to have a super, super articulated Hulk. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to do because of the size of him and everything, but uh, together, uh, 7 out of 10. Um, I feel like he should have a, a black wash uh, to, uh, uh, you know, kind of intensify those those the musculature and everything. But uh, other than that, they look great. They're going to look great on my shelf if I can find room on my Marvel shelf for another large figure. This is going to be a challenge. I got space for Banner, but that Hulk, eh, I'm looking over there at that shelf right now, and I'm just like, I don't know, but um, maybe time for a new shelf. At any rate, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time, and until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.